Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and today's board what we're looking at is the Positum Pro Max 12 SL. So what the situation is, is a problem with the flow switch. It's been leaking internally. Now these sort of boilers, um, for me, they're not the best because um, on these flow switches you've got to drain the full system. We're going to drain it from there. Now the other thing as well, before getting involved with the job these well two engineers have been to this job said it's going to be impossible to do it it's going to be a major job get a new boiler basically being white to avoid doing this type of job because they have either inexperienced new engineers don't know the principles about boiler repair and heating systems and this is what i'm saying to you guys you need to master the basics you need to do the foundational training on how to do bar repair, understand heating systems and controls. So the guys who've looked at this are very um, sort of thin on the ground when it comes to this type of information. So we're going to get involved in the job. You're going to see us doing um, sections of the job. You're not going to see the whole job because it's going to be quite long. But you'll get the gist of what we're going to do and the story of what I'm, well, basically the um, picture on painting of new engineers not understanding heat systems and boilers and controls. You've hopefully seen these type of bars before. We're going to undo these screws here and then just lift off this top and then we'll get inside the boiler. Just on a bit of education about um, heating systems and hot water systems etc. So this is the cylinder as you can see. Now it's on the same level as the boiler. There's a the boiler there and there's Miles. So what we've got is we've got an unvented cylinder and on the heating side it's on an open vent system because basically the header tank for the heating is upstairs, the F&E tank is upstairs in the loft. So that's a gravity fed system. We're going to have to turn off the um, stop tap. The stop tap is behind this panel. It took a bit of locating. I looked under the sink, etc. In the garage, couldn't find it. So the stop tap's under here. So it comes in there. Not a very good um, place for people to know where it is because if obviously that's all screwed up. So if the customer doesn't know, it's going to be difficult to find it. So as I said, new guys, this is the type of system for the hot water. What it is. So we're going to start draining down so the stop tap's turned off. We've got the hose pipe on the drain off. We've opened the drain off but no water's not coming out. So obviously that's a bit of a problem. What I'm going to try and do now is open this bit here. Open that and see if we can get it, any water to come out. As you can see it's opened there but there's still no water coming out. So the washer inside is stuck. So we'll have to have a revaluation of the situation. So just a recap, as I said, this is the, really the problem. This drain off we can't use. It's stuck and it's angled towards the wall. So we can't drain it from here. So the only, there's no drain off point basically. What's going to help us? So we're going to make a new drain off, which I'll show you what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically, if it's 15mm pipe, we're going to use this fit in here. This will basically pierce the pipe and then we can drain the system. So that's what we're going to do with this fancy tool. So this is our um, drain of what we're going to use and this is going to pierce the pipe. So I'll just show you what we're going to do with it. So that's these screws here. And take one off so I can take it apart like this. Let's get it on here. And then this part, this is the seal, and that inner bit is what's going to pierce the pipe. So, if I show you from the side, what I've done, this is like a locking nut because you can gauge it how far it's going to go into the pipe. So I've set it there, so I'm going to put this nut, lock it there, so that's as far as it's going to go. So I'm going to screw this thing out like that, 
ready for I'm going to screw it in. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp this section around the pipe and then I'll screw this in and then that hopefully should pierce the copper pipe and allow the water to run through and out to drain the system. As you can see we've got it on, it's not the easiest to do it. So it's clamped on the pipe nice and tight. So the next thing, we have to close the drain off and then once that's closed we're going to screw the whole thing that way and that will go down and pierce into the pipe while it's full of water. We're going to now turn it and as we turn it I've got to admit this is the first time I've done one of these A bit tense. Because we don't want it flooding out on us. Now let's see there, so the locking nut is, well it's tight on it, so the only thing what we could do to prove that we've pierced it, is open the drain off a little bit and see if any water comes out. We're just opening the drain off and we can hear water coming out. Yep, water is coming out and we've done it. And as you can see, the water is draining out. So that was success, how to drain the system when you haven't got a drain off point. So, having drained down the system, what well, well, we showed you before, we now was going to attempt to drain it from here, which we put our tube on. But unfortunately, this nut is just seized on. It's not moving whatsoever. It's starting to round the nut. This is where it's been leaking from and coming down here. So we kind of snooker because this won't open. We can't get rid of this trap water here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to suggest to the customer that we change the boiler. Now someone else said that it's impossible, it can't be done. He didn't even try, but at least we tried. But we're going to come to the same conclusion now that we do feel like the ball needs to be changed because of the restrictions, what we've got. We can't drain it. You can't replace this bit because if you try to replace it, you've got water caught in there, it's going to go over the PCB, the gas valve. So, yeah, it's going to be game over. But you can see, as a student, new engineer, looking at this type of work, what you have to do, and the challenge is what you'll have. Now, for new engineers and the same before these type of videos it's good for referencing and learning from but it's not how you train it's not how you learn the foundation of bar repair the only way you can be done is to do a proper training like what i have on the masterful engineer program so go to www.masterfulengineer.co.uk there you'll see the foundational steps of learning and how you do it properly. So that's me on our video on this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.